What's up guys, it's Josh, 50forlife.com, and today I want to go over 31 books that I sourced using Scout IQ. I will also go over some of the best features that Scout IQ offers and give you an in-depth view of what I use to choose profitable books. Stay tuned. So for those of you that have not heard of Scout IQ, Scout IQ is basically a book scouting app for Android and iPhone. Uh, it's relatively new. Uh, it's actually still in testing uh, phases, but um, more than a select few of us have the app already and are testing it and are being very successful with it. So if you don't know more about Scott IQ, I urge you to find out. Uh, Caleb Broth and his developers really have outdone their self. Caleb Broth and his team uh, are actually booksellers as well. So, you know, they put a lot of thought into what they would want uh, in a scouting app. And they really implemented all those nice features uh, very nicely into a very user-friendly interface. Uh, so let's get into it. Let me show you some of the features of Scout IQ. So here's the home page when you first load the app and you can see that it's very simplistic in style. Uh, basically there's four buttons on this home page, download data, triggers, scout, and then the one below that would be settings. Now the first thing you want to do is download data. So let's go ahead and click that button and see where it takes us. So now all you would do would be to hit the download database button uh, and you can see right in the middle how it starts to load up and download. It'll give you the uh, percentage as you go. Uh, once it's all done, it'll let you know and you can then proceed to test database and make sure that everything worked out well. If you're successful, you'll get this screen and congratulations, you're ready to start scanning books using the database. Next thing we'll show you is the trigger system that they have. Uh, and you can see they have uh, multiple points, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different settings that you can control. Uh, you know, when you first download the app, it'll come preloaded with uh, different settings, uh, and then you can then fine tune them and tailor them to your business needs. You can set triggers based off eScore, which is a proprietary system uh, developed exclusively for uh, Scout IQ. You only find it here on Scout IQ, um, and we can talk more about that later when I show you some of the uh, actual books that I've uh, scanned. Um, but you can also go by sales rank, and of course you have your target profit. Now these are my actual triggers that I use for my business and as you can see the target profit is very low and that's really because I want to analyze any possible uh, profitable book and make that buying decision on my own. Triggers are just a way of sorting through all the junk books uh, so that I can really start looking and analyzing the data uh, from those books that might be profitable. Triggers are simply a way of scanning thousands of books and weeding out the bad from the good. And this is Scan Tracker, another exclusive uh, feature on Scout IQ, and this is definitely one of my personal favorites. Uh, here it allows you to keep track of how many books you've scanned, uh, how many accepts, and what was that accepted percentage rate uh, for any session that you're going out and scanning. Uh, it's a really useful tool. Uh, that allows you to kind of gauge your efficiency um, to let you know uh, how good a source is uh, and really just to try to beat your high score. Like I said, it's an extremely useful tool and one of my favorites uh, with Scout IQ. All right, guys, so here are the books that I sourced with Scout IQ just yesterday. Uh, I put up the screenshots uh, of them uh, and just kind of go through them really quick. And at the very last, I'll pick a few out and kind of go over why did I choose this book and why is this a profitable book and a good choice uh, to send into Amazon FBA.
All right, guys, so let's get into a few books and I'll kind of dissect the information and show you why did I pick this book uh, to sell on FBA. So here's an easy win, uh, in my opinion. As you can see, uh, this book has a profit of $39.51. The rank is 105, and the e-score is 57. Uh, there's also just 28 used offers, uh, and all of them are priced fairly high. Even the lowest uh, merchant fulfilled at $29.68. Uh, I'd still make a ton of profit off this book, because uh, basically I paid $1.15 uh, for this book. So uh, a lot of profit here. Uh, and then as you can see, uh, the e-score of 57, basically what that means is this book has sold at least 57 times in the last six months. Now, I definitely could have sold more than that. Uh, e-score gauges, you know, how many times has the uh, rank dipped uh, within a six month period. And sometimes multiple sales can happen uh, to get that rank to plummet the way it does. So, uh, but it is a, a super useful tool to kind of gauge uh, how many times a book has sold in the last six months. Uh, and 57 times uh, in the last six months is almost uh, 10 times a month. So the very uh, high likelihood of selling this book uh, quickly is, is there, especially if you're going to be the lowest FBA price. So a great find and a great book to send into Amazon. All right, so if that first book was an easy win, then this one you need to analyze the data just a little bit more, but it also is a win, and I'll tell you why. Um, the profit on it is $4.95 is what it reads. The rank is 223,000, and the e-score 49. Uh, and as you can see, there is no FBA sellers currently other than Amazon has a new for $14.50. So being the only other FBA seller, you could price it just below Amazon, you know, maybe a dollar less or so and get that 1350 price, uh, which will actually make it more than the 495 profit that it says it has. So uh, this is definitely a win. This is something that I would send in, especially with the e-score 49. Uh, I know this book is going to sell and the likelihood of, of it selling uh first as soon as it hits the warehouse is very well uh, especially when compared to amazon because uh, people that want to save that extra dollar or two uh, they'll buy your used over a new any day So this next book I picked up, you can see it has a profit of $43, a million rank, and an e-score of three. Uh, so what that e-score is saying is it's sold at least three times in the last six months. So if you figure that it's going to sell um, only three times in the next six months, you may be wondering, why would you pick this book up if it doesn't sell uh, so fast or very quickly? Because uh, the likelihood is you might just hold on to it for at least six months. Uh, well, and that answer would be... Um, basically because of the low competition. I mean, you have nine total used offers, only one FBA. Amazon's not on it, so uh, it would be very easy to get the next sale. Or you could even price uh, above that uh, first FBA uh, just to try to get a little bit more profit out of it and just kind of wait it out. Um, this book will sell, so there's not a reason why you shouldn't send it in, especially if you're just paying about a buck for it. All right, guys. Well, I hope some of that information helped you guys out. Um, just kind of give you a feel for what the screen is in Scout IQ, what it looks like, how you can look at the data and interpret it to make educated uh, buying decisions or whether or not uh, you want uh, to buy a book that is profitable for Amazon FBA. Um, if you haven't downloaded the app, you know, go get that invite from um, Scout IQ and I urge you just to get out and start sourcing, man. That's the only way you're really going to learn um, how to tell the difference between good books and bad books is just get out there and do it. So guys, definitely check out my other videos here on YouTube, man. I go through some uh, in-depth sourcing videos of me going out and actually scouting books, scanning them, uh, reading the data, figuring out the profit, showing you my real buy cost, the real net profit, and all that good stuff. I'm showing you the actual numbers, so go ahead and give them a look, man, and check them out, please. Uh, you know, if, if you want to know more or have any questions, I mean, go ahead and comment and let me know. Like, what are you trying to learn to do? What do you want to know more about? Uh, and I'll make a video about it, so. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you want to learn, guys, all right? I'll uh, see you guys on the next video, man.